Hello, everypony. That was a weird way to start that. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Hello, everypony, and welcome to the special edition of the Pony Talk Podcast. It is great to have you all back here uh, for yet another episode review. And, guys, I am joined with two people in this podcast. I would like to first introduce... Poppy, say hello, or Rainbow Dash 47. I'm Poppy. That's your response to every single podcast. We're going to have to limit you down to that. <laughs> oh, but that's, how, oh, but that's how she responds to everything. So okay. Everybody wants to be Poppy. Okay. All right. I'll get oh, it. That's, I, that's just weird. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Poppy. Yes. And Chris, guys, say hello. What's up? Well, that was a way to start off a podcast. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, guys, when I say a special podcast as well, we are going to be talking about two different things instead of one. Uh, of course, we're going to be talking about the episode in particular, but um, just out of um, respect and all dues and everything like that, um, you guys know about the whole uh, hurricane incident um, that happened in uh, the lower part of uh, the United States or the continent, um, which was Hurricane um, Darian? Dorian? Dorian. Dorian. Okay. Dorian. Yes. Uh, I, I said Darian like uh, the Darian fruit or something like that, but yes. Um, her yeah. Hurricane Daring Do, oh my gosh. Uh, so, um, going on a serious note, uh, Hurricane Dorian, um, yes, did quite a lot of destruction, especially to the Bahamas. Um, very, very uh, sad to hear that. Uh, yeah, I, you know, and especially since, like, you know, there's different little parts uh, little islands that make up the Bahamas and stuff. Yeah, they they got hit hard, hard. Um, and then we had uh, Florida, and then uh, part of Charleston, um, Carolinas. Carolinas, yes. Um, get some extremely strong winds. Florida didn't actually get like hit hit. They mostly got hit with a very strong wind. Um, compared to, uh, this was a while back, wow, um, when we talked about, uh, Hurricane Irma, uh, Irma did a lot of destruction to Florida, but, uh, Dorian, uh, didn't really do too much, so, uh, yes, but, um, it, it's very sad to hear that it did do a lot of destruction to the Bahamas and stuff, and, uh, I bet there's a lot of other, like, uh, things out there that you guys can go to help support uh, by um, donating maybe a little bit of salary or something like that to the Bahamas so they can uh, rebuild because that's uh, the process they're in right now. A lot of rebuilding and um, I think some other parts that uh, kind of got hit with these strong winds as well. Um, but what do you guys have to say about it? I don't really know, but it's, it's tragic, for sure. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I, and especially, like, this time of the season, like, I, I was kind of, like, wondering, like, are we, are we going to be alright with, like, just storm-wise and stuff like that, and then, uh, it was kind of, like, out of the nowhere for me when I started hearing about this hurricane and all that, and I'm like, Wait, hurricane? Where? And they said lower part where Florida and the Bahamas are, and I'm like, ooh. So, uh, it is hurricane season. So, it's not like a total, like, big shocker, but it, like, came to one of those points where, like, it, hurricanes aren't something you want to mess with. I mean, same goes with tornadoes or any type of storm, but, like, hurricanes are one of those things where it, they, they mess up. They mess up places. We we've seen this. We've had a lot of hurricanes happen with uh, Hurricane Florence. More than tornadoes do. Uh, yes, uh, Hurricane Florence, Irma, like we discussed. Um, there was uh, another hurricane I couldn't think of. 
I said Florence. Um, what was that one that started with the D? I forgot what it was called. I can't remember. There are so many hurricane names that they got out there. There was Hurricane Matthew. Um, Hurricane Harvey. There we are. Um, Hurricane Harvey. Uh, yeah. They, these guys are still recovering from those uh, hurricanes to this day. Um, yeah, they aren't something to mess with. And uh, yeah, so definitely if you guys can go for it, find an organization if you guys want to help out with uh, the destruction of Hurricane Dorian, then uh, please go do so uh, because those people really appreciate it. So, uh, yes, but I just wanted to say to all those people who have uh, uh, faced throughout that storm and uh, had a lot of destruction done, uh, we uh, hope everything goes well um, along with that and uh, you guys can get back on your feet. But uh, that is what I wanted to say. I just wanted to say a little toast to uh, um, the people who were affected to, uh, by Hurricane Dorian. Uh, but yes, so um, horrible events, but moving away from a horrible event, uh, let's talk about uh, the episode. So guys, we are talking about episode 17, yay, episode 17, overall episode 213. Um, this is the Summer Sun Setback, and a Summer Sun Setback we are because we are still behind, um, like I mentioned with, um, the episodes, we're, we're not, like, too, too badly far behind, but, uh, I, I gotta say, if we get, uh, this upcoming podcast and stuff, we should be, like, right there, so, yes. Uh, but, anyways, going on, um... It is, and uh, it's it's getting very scary. And guys, the season is coming to an end. So if you guys out there want to join the Pony Talk podcast, we still have episodes remaining and all that. A good handful, but uh, it's going to come really soon to where we're not going to have any more um, episode reviews here on the Pony Talk podcast. So if you guys want to get a position... Uh, and let people hear your voice and your thoughts on the podcast, please go down in the comments below uh, talking about it because we will be discussing and uh, it will be a lot of fun. So definitely come join us if you guys want to uh, get a little bit of a taste of that. <laughs> what do you say, nah, to? No, I'm saying, when Oh, it sounded like, nah. <laughs> I was like, what are you saying, nah, to? Uh... All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Get out of here, crybaby. <laughs> get get out. Get yeah. You're not Mel. You're not Melanie Martinez. So you're you're Poppy. <laughs> you are Poppy. All right. So, beginning off with the episode, we begin in Grogar's lair. Oh boy. So we have the big scary villains that are going to definitely be a part of uh, the season finale. And uh, talk about the season finale. Are you alright, Chris? No, I'm, no, yeah, I'm good. Okay, because like, I'm hearing like very heavily breathing and then I'm hearing a bunch of other stuff too. I was like wondering what that was. Uh, anyways, just had, I was just wondering what you're doing. All good. Um, so anyways, uh, going off with uh, Grogar's Lair, we have the three main villains and all that. We have uh, T-Rex, Cozy Glow, and um, Chrysalis, and of course Grogar himself, but he doesn't really play too much of a big part. I I'm sure he will in the finale. And guys, just another heads up, please, I know this is like a huge thing that's going on right now, and it's going to be going on uh, until the finale comes out in the U.S., and uh, just in uh, Northern America in particular. Please do not spoil the finale uh, in the comments below. I think I've had that happen a few times now and I had to delete those comments. So uh, please definitely do not uh, spoil the season finale because us over here have not seen it yet. So uh, thank you for that. Um, but yes. No uh, spoilers. No spoilers. None. Nine. Uh, so. Uh, going back with uh, the villains and stuff, they have the special tool, the Bewitching Bell, which uh, they're kind of talking amongst themselves of how they're going to use it or how it even works 
and all that. Um, but they need to like find some sort of source to make uh, this bell work. Uh, but again, only Grogar knows how this uh, bewitching bell works. Um, so they don't really have a keen idea of what to do until they talk about uh, Twilight and her friends because they're they're definitely the ponies to know about that stuff or at least the princesses in particular um, which none of them are pleased to uh, talk about or find any of them because they just they, they don't want to they're there to destroy them not oh hey can you help me find a resource to destroy you yeah thanks um, so like yeah but um, Anyways, they said, well, we need to go do this, and where we're going to find our best information is um, uh, Canterlot. So uh, they end up on their way. They're saying, all right, let's go do this. Let's uh, find out the secret of how to use this bewitching bell. So um, once uh, Twilight and her friends um, are at Canterlot and all that, uh, the main villains kind of like move throughout different places to kind of find what resource would be better and how they can get uh, managed to get through and all that um, which uh, in some points of uh, their appearance and stuff they do run it, come across the main six and um, yes so the main six are going to be helping host the summer sun celebration which we all know what the summer sun celebration is um yes it's it's a very big event where uh celestia uh raises the sun and the moon and that has been a tradition going throughout um the entire uh well the entire time throughout the series uh but yes so anyway um her and her friends are trying to put this all together and everything because this is going to be the last event because there's no s reason why to have the summer uh, sun celebration because that was mostly celebrating uh, Celestia raising the sun and moon because uh, Princess Luna was banished to the moon um, and we know that whole story uh, and so, you know, Luna is back, and things are at peace right now. So, there's not really any sense to hold a celebration for something that, uh, I mean, wasn't really too good of a thing, but now everything's fixed, so uh, we're going to end it off with a bang. So, uh, it is an ending of the Summer Sun celebration. So, uh, Twilight gets her friends to take over positions throughout Canterlot, make sure everything is nice and tidy, um, and uh, Twilight fears uh, that she's going to miss something, you know, kind of how Twilight is, uh, but she also has had some, um, some way of leniency, more than we remember Twilight freaking out about different things. Um, Twilight's more calm and relaxed because she's got her friends there and she's pretty sure they're gonna do a good job so um, she leaves it in their hooves and uh, Princess Celestia and Luna tell uh, Twilight that um, you know not to get too stressed out about this and stuff and you'll do perfectly fine you have your friends and all that so it's all good um, but we also get informed uh, well, we do get informed about the uh, ending of the Summer Sun celebration, and uh, Twilight relays this information to her friends. Um, so, uh, while uh, in uh, all those, uh, Discord kind of arrives, and Discord always arrives at the most shocking moments of the episodes. You know, it was in the beginning of the season when the princesses announced that they would be retiring, Discord just shows up and says, ooh, retirement, eh? Okay. Oh, I gotta take notes for this one. Chaos is coming. It's always coming. <laughs> uh, so, um, yes. So Discord comes up and sh or shows up and says, ooh, so it's the end of the Summer Sun celebration too, man. Okay. Um, well, I mean, there, there's gotta be something for me to do and all that. 
Um, and Twilight then gives like her friends um, one last task uh, to take care of uh, the celebration and preparations to uh, get it all complete. But while uh, those preparations are in uh, a state of um, getting prepared and all that, we have the main villains who are looking at the festivities that are being put together. And this is where we have Cozy Glow, um, who gets her little uh, evil type of idea and says, okay, this is what we're going to do. Because uh, we also have uh, the main ponies who we want to defeat. Um, here. Uh, we need to somewhat uh, ruin this for them, but also find the how to activate the bewitching bell, get some sort of information. So you know what? We're going to split up. Uh, we're going to have you uh, go mess with uh, what um, Applejack and Pinkie Pie are doing, and uh, then we'll have you mess with Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, uh, with Cloudsdale, uh, getting uh, all the different um, preparations for the effects that they're going to have during the sun's, uh, summer sun celebration. And um, Rarity mess around with what she's doing as well. Um, so uh, they end up doing that. Uh, they start chaos because, again, these guys... They're they're going they're going to try you know getting back at uh, the main ponies as best as they can for right now, um, but this is only a little bit of the damage of what they're going to be uh, doing. Uh, so um, they end up starting tatering around. Um, we first have uh, Cozy Glow um, talking to one of the ponies uh, and sabotaging the certain uh, effects because this is the pony who has brought down all the different uh, things uh, from Cloudsdale that they're going to be hosting in the Summer Sun celebration. Um, which uh, uh, Cozy Glow then kind of like uh, rides in and saying, oh well, you know, uh, they actually want you to do something like this instead. Uh, just, just leave this right here and we'll figure out something else to do. And uh, yeah, so uh, we have that all going around. Um, and then we have uh, Pinkie Pie and Applejack, and this is where t comes into place, where he starts stealing food first, um, and t then starts uh, taking magic um, from ponies, and this ends up being uh, a signal to others, don't eat the food! It's bad for you. It's going to make you turn like these ponies and stuff. And every pony starts freaking out. And Pinkie Pie's like, well, why hasn't this happened to me? I literally was consuming a lot of the food. And she's like, hmm, I'm fine, though. And she goes bouncing along her ways and all that. Um, and as Pinkie Pie is, gotta love Pinkie. Um, and t then still continues to hide in the bushes, stealing magic from ponies, while ponies are collecting others to get them to uh, somewhere where they can get their health back in some way. And uh, then we have um, Rainbow Dash uh, meeting up with the Pegasi, Cloudsdale, um, where they have uh, Feather... Uh, Flutterfly, I think his name is. Flatterfly? Yeah, F Feather Flatterfly, um, which is the same pony who was in charge of all the different uh, elements that they'd be using in the show, um, where they're trying to get that in order because Cozy Glow uh, unleashed those from the barrels, and uh, those are going all crazy. Um, and then we have Rarity. Now, Rarity is in charge of the different uh, fashion uh, or the different um, ponies who are going to be doing the special dances and all that, or uh, sparking up the um, fireworks and all that for the ceremony. Um, until we have one pony who comes up disguised as uh, the same pony that we saw in, um, I think it was season eight, yeah, for uh, the mean six, uh, where she ends up taking samples uh, from the main six ponies and then creating her own clone of uh, 
the main six. Um, Chris, are you doing like a little bit of some ASMR like in the background right there? No. What are you talking about? I, <laughs> I'm hearing like a bunch of noise and stuff. Oh, or is that you, Poppy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming. Oh. Okay. Alright. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm not accusing you. You're fine. Uh. So, um. Yeah. So. Yeah, you are, Poppy. Uh. And, well, now we have the unicorn team who is in charge of the fireworks display, as we talked about. Um. They are now, um, persuaded by this one pony who is a unicorn saying, Oh, you know. Yeah, you could do that stupid little ceremony thing and stuff like that, but, like, we're unicorns. We're better than that. Why do we have to take a uh, charge from uh, Pegasus ponies or Earth ponies and stuff when we can stand up and uh, do our own things? So, uh, then they start being a little bit, um, kind of following along the guidelines of this pony who we see, which is disguised as Queen, Queen Chrysalis. Um, she is trying to make these ponies fight, uh, so they end up not doing the ceremony and all that. And so now everything is chaotic. Um, well, I forgot to mention something. Uh, in the beginning, when Discord showed up, um, the main six told Discord not to, or at least Twilight did, uh, not to create any chaos. That is what he can do during the ceremony. Well. Uh, the main six end up going back uh, to where Twilight is and um, talk about amongst themselves, oh, this is totally out of control. No, this is totally out of control. And they then look at Discord and he's like, what? Just because I'm the Lord in Chaos and stuff doesn't mean that I ended up doing this. But I must say, that is quite some chaos out there. Um, and then Twilight, yes, but it wasn't him. That's the Twister. Um, which then Twilight walks through the doors, and the main six kind of cover up this the window of <clears> one <throat> of the stained glass windows uh, to not look from the crazy chaos outside. And they're like, "Oh, Twilight, uh, you're back!" And she's like, "Yes, I'm just preparing everything, and so far everything's going good. Uh, what about you guys? How are the activities and events going on?" And they're like, "Oh, you know, uh, they're going." They're going smooth, yes, and uh, yeah, okay. it's like, okay, um, all right, let me uh, let me see these, and they're like, no, you don't want to see these yet. They're not uh, quite finished yet, and then um, the rumor then eventually leaks out that uh, things are not good, um, that um, it, it's it's not looking good, and then Twilight um, is starting to look like she's going to freak out. And then she goes to her calm, collected self. So at this point, um, we have, uh, you know, Twilight, where we think she was going to and then ended up not, um, which actually the Royal Guards actually alert the ponies that there are crazy things happening all over Canterlot. And this is where Twilight's about to freak out and then she ends up not freaking out. And they're like, wait, Twilight, why aren't you freaking out? And she's like, oh, girls, she's like, you know, as much as you may have expected me to freak out and stuff, I know how I was back then, but, you know, times have changed and stuff. I'm becoming a new type of pony where I'm not going to freak out at, over every little thing that happens. You know, just because I have gone that way um, doesn't mean that I'm going to continue doing that in every single situation. And then this is when the main six kind of feel bad because, uh, well, they kind of misjudged Twilight for her freaking out. And they kind of feel bad that they, you know, judged her before actually getting to know what the situation was all about and she wasn't going to make that type of reaction. So then they apologize saying, we're sorry, Twilight, we should have, you know, uh, listen to you about saying you wouldn't freak out and stuff, but, you know, after those many years of how things have happened, 
we, we just didn't want to take any chances, but it was wrong in our part of not trusting you. And so, uh, kind of a valuable lesson is learned throughout this, uh, to start trusting your friends on some, uh, some things they say, or most things they say, because, you know, they don't want you to end up freaking out about certain things than, uh, what is yet to come. If they say they changed, well, you know, you kind of got to give them some trust away, and, uh, that's what is shown through here. So, uh, the main six end up uh, thinking about how they're going to collectively put the storm in together, and um, then uh, things start to piece together and all that. Uh, am I missing anything, guys? You think I'm missing anything so far? No. No? Okay. Alright, that's good. Um, so... Uh, once this is all, like, starting to piece together, the main six go out to their rightful positions. Um, Rabidash and Fluttershy start collecting all the stuff, uh, putting it in its proper barrels, cleaning that mess up. Um, we have a Rarity, sh uh, showing the unicorns to not fight with the other, uh, types of ponies. We've had this happen before. But we are all working together to make these events special because this is in celebration of, uh, well, the, t the two sisters that make Equestria and all that, and we are all equal as one. And so uh, the unicorns get their little crazy feud over and done with, and all ponies are now happy together. And then that is just left with uh, Pinkie Pie and Applejack uh, finding uh, the sickness uh, that um, they, they'll be fine and stuff. Just give them a little bit of time to just, you know, they'll, they'll be back to normal. It doesn't seem like it's anything too bad. The food's not poisoned or anything. So they realize that they, it's just some sort of sickness that's going around, which we know what the real truth is <laughs> for all of it, actually. Um, but while everything results in a complete fix-up, we have a scene where Tiarak, Cozy Glow, and Queen Chrysalis end up sneaking in a part of Canterlot, which ends up being the, um, what is it called? I just saw it. Uh, the Canterlot Archives, uh, which this is the library where it has all the different books and all that, um, on all the, um, ancient, um, ancient devices that are used throughout equestrian history. And they find the book of, uh, the, the bell, that they, uh, how to activate it, Grogar's special bell, um, and then they steal that book from the Royal Archives, and, um, then this is where they, um, start saying, ah, oh, you know, at least we got the book, but darn it, I thought we would actually ruin this summer sun celebration that these ponies have, and they're like, well, I mean, the, it will all fall in our hands soon. So they run off back to Grogar's lair, and then we have Twilight and uh, Princess Celestia and Luna uh, end up doing the last summer sun celebration with uh, Luna lowering the moon and Celestia raising the sun, and uh, everyone, every pony cheers and all that. And then this is where Twilight says, <laughs> Very good, very good, Poppy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, but now, uh, while every pony is cheering and all that, Twilight announced that this is going to be the last Summer Sun celebration, and uh, every pony kind of freaks out about that, and Twilight then goes to mention, well, we really don't need one because, you know, there's rightful peace in Equestria. It's not like it was before. So, with this being uh, done and all that, I pronounce this day to become a summer sun, uh, the summer sun celebration, a huge success. Uh, which then Twilight ends up saying it is now um, renamed the Festival of the Two Sisters. So, the summer sun celebration is going on, but it is changed to uh, the Festival of the Two Sisters. Uh, by Twilight, or aka the future ruler of Equestria, as we know. Um, 
So, uh, while every pony's cheering and all that, we have Clo Cozy Glow, T-Rex, and Chrysalis back at Grogar's lair, and this is where um, they start revealing um, how they found the successful new source of how to uh, defeat Twilight and her friends. And uh, they're like, ooh, it's all going to plan. We don't need Grogar to help us with this when we can just claim this as our own. Why, why should we listen to someone else? But it, it will be really easy uh, to defeat them with this power that we have bestow on us. And uh, then that's when they start talking about, oh, I wish those ponies didn't have their celebration and, and we left them off sad and all that. And then this is where uh, Queen Chrysalis um, says, oh, we'll return and get those ponies all, to, uh, all against each other and into a big war. And then this was her quote, uh, now, that's some now that is something to think about. And uh, then they start kind of laughing a little bit, and uh, the bell is shown for the last time, and then that ends up being the closing of the episode. Whew! Alright. So. I'm so happy to end. <laughs> oh, yes. Um... So, the summer sun set back. Uh, excellent episode. Absolutely excellent. I love these episodes. We need episodes that are going to tie in with what is to come, uh, the season finale. So, now that we have everything uh, and they got a way to activate the bell and all that, yeah, things are going to start getting real from here. Uh, but, yes. What about you guys? Anything else to input? Anything that you're wanting to see in the next episode or in a future episode? Or... Already... Well, we already saw yeah. episode. Well, right, but I'm just saying, because uh, yes, I know, again, we're back, but any other future episodes that we haven't seen yet are you uh, wanting to see that tie in with this episode and uh, Friend of Me's as well before we hit the I don't finale. know. I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, yeah. I I definitely got. I've recently, I, I've heard, I've recently heard it informed that it looks like 2016 is going to be one episode. Oh really? I've heard it. I've heard news that it turns out that the, the 24 and 25 is going to be a two-parter, an ultimate episode. Huh. That's. And 26 will. And, and 26 is only going to be just one whole 22 minute episode <laughs> well I'll be that's pretty interesting yeah, huh I mean, the I mean the last time we had that we had those kinds of the finales having only one with only one episode was in season 1 and season 3 yes yes mm -hmm. um, which I mean would make sense because again uh, that was kind of like the start of the series and all that and um since this is the end, I, I mean, that would make sense, but wow, again, guys, it, it's crazy because thinking that this is the final season and all that, and that this is soon going to be ending and stuff, yeah, I can understand that a little more now. Um, but we want to hear from wonder... you guys. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to say, Chris? No, go, no, go ahead. Okay. Um,. But we want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think of this episode? Do you want to see another episode tying in before the season finale? Or, uh, I don't know, something else. Another episode that you want to see another point kind of pointed towards, not so much uh, leading up to the finale, or uh, something else. It's We want to hear from you. Uh, and guys, again, you want to join the podcast, comment down below. And uh, it could be your lucky day, because we are limited on episodes. Um, we are starting to come close. Uh, but yes, anyways, go ahead, Chris. What are you going to say? I wonder if it's... I, I wonder if the, if, it, if the uh, Equestria Girls is going to end. We haven't, we haven't got any information yet. Now, and actually, I got to ask you a question of this, because you probably know this a little more than me. I, I keep up with Equestria Girls, but like not as much as I have. But uh, I thought that uh, Sunset's... Backstage Pass was supposed to be the last one. Yeah, I've heard that too, but but I recently, yeah, I've heard that, but it turns out it's not because I've heard that there's going to be another special. Well, keep them coming. I don't care. That's actually yeah. good information. 
<laughs> yeah, but so, they, so I thought I thought it was gonna be the last special being made by DHS, but no, it turns out there's another one being created by that same studio. Good. Yeah, keep them growing. And, and guess what? And guess what? It's even special. It's this is something. It's very special, though. Huh. Okay. No. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a it's a it's a holiday Christmas special. Oh, uh, okay. I did hear about that. Yes, but yes, that's awesome. Yes. I was. I always wonder when we're gonna have those kinds of like holiday related specials from from Equestria Girls. That's good though. Yes, we need those. We need we those. Have my own Christmas holiday this year. Ah, awesome. Yeah. I mean, we had. I mean, we had. I mean, we had. I mean, we had holiday specials from the show though. It's gonna be a poppy Christmas this year. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Darn it, Poppy! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Uh, you already took over the computer. Stop it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. But what isn't anymore? Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this podcast. Uh, thank you for tuning in and stuff. Again, guys, definitely give your support to uh, the cause that has happened in uh, uh, the, by the Bahamas and um, just that lower part of North America because... That it was a huge, huge tragedy, and um, I bet those people will really appreciate it. Uh, but yes, thank you all so much for watching this episode. We will come see you in the next episode, which will be She Talks to Angel, which was a really good episode, and I cannot wait to review that episode as well. Uh, but until then, guys, that is all we have. So thank you all so much for watching the Pony Talk Podcast, and we will see you! And the next one, guys, peace out. Bye, everypony. Poppy. Poppy says bye.